Hey guys, Hecons here with another World of Warcraft gold making guide. In this new series, I'll be showing you step by step how to get started on a fresh realm, going from zero gold to making millions. Today, we're going to be looking at the best ways to get gold on your fresh level 1 banker on a new realm. The first and my favorite method is to simply roll a trial tune. You can hearth out and grab the starting quest for Legion, either from the adventure guide or one of the quest boards in your capital. From there, you can go outside Ogrimmar for Horde or to Stormwind Harbor for Alliance. Choose the option to skip the Legion intro quest to get to the new Dalaran. Once there, you can turn in the quest that you picked up. This will reward you with the new Hearthstone as well as 5 Tome of the Tranquil Mines. If you sell these along with the starting gear, you should net about 40 gold per trial. 40 doesn't seem like a lot, but it will be much faster than leveling and playing to acquire your starting capital. And this process only takes a couple of minutes and should give you plenty of starting gold on the new realm. Remember also that you can roll 8 trial tunes each week with a limit of 4 creations per hour. The next method requires a bit of planning and either a friend to help you or a second account. In one of my previous videos, specifically the one I made for Pirate Day, I mentioned the item called the Big Bag of Booty. These cost 300 gold and will let you drop gold on the ground, which a party member, even if they are on a different realm, can pick up. They will end up with around 285 gold per bag, which is about a 5% cost. Bear in mind that these can only be purchased from the vendor during the Pirate Day event or off the auction house at a hefty premium. I recommend you just buy them during the event and leave some in your bank, unless you can somehow justify buying them off the auction house. The third method is one that some of you may know already, and it is a guild tabard trick. If you are in a guild, you can visit any of the guild vendors in your faction's city, there will be a vendor that will sell the illustrious Guild Tabard and the renowned Guild Tabard. These have a purchase price of 125 gold and 250 gold respectively. One awesome feature is that they are bind on account, meaning you can mail them to tunes on other realms so long as they are on that account. You can also sell these to a vendor which makes it a great way to transfer gold. However, the vendor sell price on these are only 25% of the purchase price. That means that you will only see 31 gold and 25 silver for the illustrious guild tabard and 62 gold and 50 silver for the renowned guild tabard. That fee is quite steep, so I would recommend only using this method for emergency purchases. For example, let's say you saw a Salumbra, the Knight's Dichotomy, for only 1.4k on a realm. You know this should be selling for close to 100 times that price, but you do not have any gold to purchase it. A good move would be to purchase 23 renowned guild tabards on your main realm at the cost of 5.7k gold. Mail yourself the tabards, vendor them, and that should give you enough gold to purchase the Salumbra. You can then relist it and it will be 100,000 gold profit when it sells. Or let's say you saw a 840-101 BOE for 88 gold. In this instance, that item should be selling for a thousand times that price. This would be another great opportunity to use the tabard trick since you would only need two of them at a cost of 500 gold on one realm to make close to 80,000 on another. With more expensive items or slower moving items like transmog, be careful. One recent example of this is the Onyx Claymore I grabbed for 1k on this realm. They do have an average price on NA of around 54k, but I do expect to sit on this item for quite some time before it sells. However, as you can see, this method can make you a lot of gold fast. If you can find the deals and get to them before someone else. The final method I have to share today is simply to buy a WoW token with gold, convert them into balance, then sell tokens for gold you bought using balance on the new realm. Since you are only getting $15 of balance when you buy a token with gold, and it costs $20 to purchase a token to sell for gold, you effectively lose $5 each time you do this, assuming a static gold to token exchange rate. However, it is an amazing way to transfer hundreds of thousands to low millions when doing a guild transfer is going to be more expensive than paying this fee. It also takes between 2-8 to eight hours to get your gold on the new realm once you list your token, which means there is a long waiting period. Anyways, that's going to be it for this guide. Now that we have some starting gold on our banker, in the next episode we'll be exploring ideas and strategies to turn the small amount of gold and snowball it. Thanks a lot for watching, and as always, a huge shout out to my supporters over on Patreon. Hope you guys all had a great weekend, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Late.